Solar tracking in station years is more daunting than it actually is. You only need 35 copper, 10 gold and 3 iron to be able to make the logic uh, to automate solar tracking. We set up the first logic reader to read the horizontal of the daylight sensor. The second logic reader reads the vertical of the daylight sensor. We then have a math unit which adds the solar horizontal with the memory offset. We have the another math unit which adds the solar vertical with the offset. And then we write, we have a batch writer that writes the horizontal to all solar panels and a batch writer that writes all the verticals to all solar panels. The offset, the memory offset is set to 90 provided you have orientated your solar panel and the daylight sensor towards roughly 90 degrees. The other thing to be aware of is making sure you have an isolated power if you're going to use an APC unit uh, like that. Notice how, notice how the heavy cable does not interact with the data portion of this setup. Now to highlight the, to highlight the point about why we got to separate the power, right, is that if these, if these cables meet, so if, if the input, if these, if these cables meet, right, it just blows up, right, because the, because the, yeah, the, the input of the battery uh, met the output of the battery.